Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve example 6, 7 and 8 in chapter trigonometric ratios. So here the sixth problem is in triangle ABC, right angle dot B, AB is 5 cm and angle ACB is 30 degrees. So determine the lengths of the sides BC and AC. So here we are having a right angle triangle, right? And it is designated as ABC. So just draw a right angle triangle, right? It is right angle dot B. Therefore, B holds an angle of 90 degrees, right? So here we are writing A and C like this. Again, I am repeating, it's up to you. You can write A here, you can write C here, okay? It will never make a difference. Anyway, you will be getting the correct answer at the end. So here, now I have taken like A, B and C, right? So here you see A, B is 5 centimeter. So 5 centimeter and the angle C is 30 degrees. So here we are having 30 degree. We have to find the values of B, C and A, C, right? So in normal case, we will be provided with two sides, right? So Anyway, we will be having this side or this side or this side or this side. With the help of two known values, by using Pythagoras theorem, we will be finding the value of the other side. But here, one angle is given and one side is given. Right. So, here we have to make use of the tabular column. Right. So, you see, to this angle 30 degree, this AB is the opposite side. That is the known value is given. Right. So here, what is the trigonometric ratio that deals with opposite side? So here it is sin 30. Right. Or even you can use tan 30. Okay. Because tan 30 is also opposite by adjacent. Right. Anyway, it will be right. So first I am starting with tan, sorry, sin 30 degree. Right. So, sin 30 is nothing but it is AB by AC opposite by hypotenuse. So, what is the value of sin 30? When you look at the tabulation, its value will be 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 equal to the value of AB is 5 and I don't know AC. So, let it be AC here. So, the next step is we are cross multiplying. Right. So, 1 into AC is equal to 2 into 5. So, what is the value of AC? So, here it is. 10 centimeter right so the value of ac is 10 centimeter here now we are going to find bc right so for this angle right again here what is the trigonometric ratio we can use can you make a guess so what is this side to this angle this is your adjacent side right what is the angle that deals with your adjacent side either you can use cos 30 or you can use tan 30 okay it's up to you right so here i had taken tan 30 so tan 30 is given by opposite by adjacent side so here the opposite is 5 and adjacent side is bc right and what is the value of tan 30 it is 1 by root 3 Again, here we are doing cross multiplication, right? So, here we are doing a cross multiplication. And finally, we are getting the value of BC as 5 root 3, right? So, now let me show you by using cos 30 degree how we can find the value of BC, right? So, what is the formula for cos 30 degree? It is adjacent by hypotenuse. So, when you look at this triangle, what is your adjacent side? It is BC and hypotenuse is AC. Therefore, cos 30 is given by BC by AC. Right. So, now what is the value of cos 30? So, when you look at this tabulation, you see cos 30 degree is root 3 by 2. So, cos 30 degree is root 3 by 2 which is equal to BC by what is the value of AC here? You see the value of AC is 10. So, it is BC by 10. Right. So, again just do cross multiplication. So, root 3 into 10 is equal to 2 into BC. Right. Therefore, BC is nothing but root 3 into 10 by 2. Right. So, again when you cancel 2 and 5, 
finally we are getting 5 root 3 as bc right again and again i am repeating there is no specific rule that you should always solve the problem only by this method it's up to you right selecting the method differs it is unique okay every individual can take can solve a problem by their own way you see even if you use tan 30 we are getting this answer even by using cos 30 also again we are ending up with the same answer right in other words you see again we can make use of Pythagoras theorem also right so when you look at this diagram again ac square is nothing but ab square plus bc square so here you see ab square plus bc square now i want bc so just rearrange accordingly substitute the values and you see finally we are getting the same answer 5 root 3 centimeter right okay by any way you can solve the problem okay it's up to you so now we proceed with the next problem so the problem is in triangle pq or right angle dot q so just draw a triangle it is right angle dot q pq is 3 centimeter and pr is 6 centimeter right so pq is 3 and pr is 6 so find the angle QPR and PRQ that is we have to find the angle P and we have to find the angle R okay that is the meaning. So here the thing is you see we are provided with two sides right. So we need to find the angle R and angle P so initially we start with angle R okay let the angle be at R here. So, what is the formula for sin r? Because we are having two sides and this side for this angle, this is your opposite side and this is your hypotenuse, right? So, you see sin r is equal to pq by pr, right? What is the value of pq? It is 3 and pr is 6. When you solve the sin r is 1 by 2, right? Now, we have to look back at our tabulation. For what angle we are having 1 by 2? That is for in sign term for what angle we are having 1 by 2 for 30 degrees we are having 1 by 2 right therefore angle R is 30 degrees right you see in this triangle we know the value of Q is 90 degree and here the value of R is 30 degrees so automatically we can easily find the value of P right so you see angle p plus q plus r that is sum of angle in a triangle is 180 degrees so we know the value of q we know the value of r so just substitute and here it is 120 degree therefore the angle p is 180 minus 120 which is 60 degrees right so i believe this problem is pretty simple and it is very easy to solve right so again the same thing there is no compulsion that you should always draw the triangle like this. So right angle that Q we, we, we should never change this. So at Q you should keep this as right angle. Placing P and R is up to you. You can write P here write R here. Okay everything is fine. So accordingly you should water the angle that is depending upon the location of the angle everything will change. Okay, that's the thing. So, for example, if you consider angle P, if you have an intention to find the angle P, then here is our angle P, right? So, to this angle, this is your adjacent side and this is your hypotenuse, right? So, what is the angle that deals with adjacent and hypotenuse? It is cos, right? Therefore, cos P is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse. Again, it is 1 by 2, right? So, when you look back at the tablation, so under cos theta where we are having 1 by 2, you see 1 by 2 is placed at the angle of 60 degrees. Therefore, therefore here the value of P is 60 degrees, right. So, you see here also we are having the same thing, the angle P is 60 degree, that's the thing, right, that is the beauty of mathematics. You can solve by any way or any method. It's up to you. Right. So, 
we will proceed with our eighth problem the problem is if sin a minus b equal to 1 by 2 cos a plus b equal to 1 by 2 here you see a plus b okay the the value of these angles that is summation of these two angles they lies between 0 to 90 right so here the value of a is greater than b find a and b we have to find the angles a and b right that is the first thing and after finding the values of a and b you have to check whether the value of a is greater than b and finally the value of a plus b should lie between 0 to 90 degree okay it should be greater than 0 it should be less than or equal to 90 degrees okay that's the thing so here you see sin a minus b equal to 1 by 2 so what angle of sine gives 1 by 2 it is 30 degrees right so again look back at the tabulation you see 1 by 2 is at 30 degrees for sine therefore 1 by 2 can be replaced with sine 30 so here it is sine 30 right so this sine and sine cancel each other and here we are having a minus b is equal to 30 right now next consider this expression cos a plus b equal to 1 by 2 right again 1 by 2 it lies in 60 degrees for cos therefore cos 60 degree again cos and cos cancel each other and finally we are having a plus b equal to 60 degrees okay let this be equation number 1 and let this be equation number 2 now we are going to solve equations 1 and 2 right so here we are just simply adding right a minus b is 30 and a plus b is 60 so plus b and minus b cancels each other so a plus a becomes 2a and 30 plus 60 gives you 90 therefore the value of a is here 2 is in multiplication when you move to the right hand side it occupies the denominator part therefore it is 45 degrees now we are going to substitute the value of a in our equation 1 okay you can substitute in equation 1 or equation 2 okay everything is fine so here a minus b is 30 the value of a is 45 therefore 45 minus b is 30 right so we have to find b right so this minus b when it moved to the right hand side it becomes plus b and this 30 when it moved to the left hand side becomes minus 30 therefore the value of b is 15 so here the value of a is 45 degrees and the value of b is 15 degrees right so here comes the end of this video if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section thank you